Hey everybody, my name is Ryan Coleman. Uh, this is my uh, presentation on the article you're supposed to critique. Uh, so my article was Racial Differences in the Association Between Earlier socio Socioeconomic Position, Birth Weight, and Arterial Stiffness in Adults from ELSA Brazil. And so the intro, uh, so arterial stiffness is thought to be a predictor of multi multiple of cardiovascular events, um, hypertension, and just death in general. So studies have investigated the association between arterial stiffness and then factors in childhoods, uh, including social and nutritional adversity. Um, so some of those include socioeconomic position, birth weight, and maternal education level. So those were monitored along with self-reported race skin color to determine um, the risk for arterial stiffness in adulthood. Um, so this study was made up of 13,365 subjects between ages 35 and 74 that were selected from the Brazilian Longitudinal Study of Adult Health. Um, from data between 2008-2010. And the participants in the study were excluded if uh, everything couldn't be confirmed, so including arterial stiffness and things like that. Um, so arterial stiffness was measured um, via carotid femoral pulse wave velocity, which we'll just call pulse from now on because it's easier. Um, maternal education, birth weight, uh, race skin color were all assessed via survey. Um, and on that survey, um, they at the education, birth weight, and race skin color all had categories I've listed over here. Um, so you have high school, complete elementary school, incomplete elementary school, and never attended school for education. Under 2.5, between 2.5 and 4, and over 4.5 kilograms for birth weight. And then um, black, brown, and white for skin color, and brown being just mixed. Um, the sex, age, participants, education, smoking, alcohol consumption, body weight, height, and other factors um, were all determined as adjustment variables, and they had uh, extra models that they were created to um, account for those, and we'll look at those in a minute. And since the relation between age and pulse was is not linear, subjects were divided into eight five-year groups between 35 and 34 age range. So this study had a, fluke, a few collection flaws. Um, since it was all obtained voluntarily, from civil servants with stable jobs at universities, research institutes, there's a potential for lots of bias. Um, it had the potential for selection bias, um, but since this study wasn't meant to be representative of the general population, um, it doesn't. It kind of avoids that. Um, but it does have volunteer bias because um, since everybody in the study volunteered to have their data collected. Um, that could lead to what potentially could be an underestimation of the results because people with worse arterial stiffness um, might not volunteer. So, so the analysis showed um, the analysis. The way they did it was by, by producing linear regression models. Um, two of them comparing the maternal education and pulse, and then birth weight and the pulse, and then subsequent adjustments were made uh, determining with all these variables. So model one was sex and age. Model two was all of these things in three and four. And so they kept adding adjustments to try and um, make it a little bit more uh, correct. And then so here's the descriptive characteristics. This is just the actual population and then their characteristics. I'm not going to go through it because it's like a giant table. This is the um, analysis showing the association between maternal education and then the pulse. And you can see a, a much higher um, rate of association in blacks as compared to the whites. Um, and then the same thing here, um, except this is between birth weight and uh, pulse. And you can kind of see a similar trend except in the reverse because birth weight and pulse was only associated with whites. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, so like I was saying just a second ago, low, low birth weight was associated with the high pulse only in whites, which was interesting. Um, the study population showed that even though over half uh, had mothers with no education, over half the people surveyed actually had a university degree. So those aren't correlated at all. And blacks were the highest frequency of uh, having mothers with no education, or lower education, sorry. And then the median pulse was higher among blacks than browns and whites. And then age and sex adjusted pulse increased as maternal level of education decreased with more pronounced differences in blacks. So basically as level of education decrease, the rates of pulses increase. And then, so this study does not account for paternal education. So um, that could lead to misinterpretations of their socio socioeconomic position in childhood, which could skew the data. And then participants could have incorrectly informed them of some of their data because the data was obtained retrospectively, which could lead to an, an underestimation. And then survival bias is also present since individuals with uh, severe arterial stiffness or severely low SEP are more prone to early deaths. Um, so that could lead to an underestimation. Um, so that's my end, end of my presentation. Thanks for watching.